Okay. Hey there, uh, media teams. We just want to show you a device that we're going to try that we think is going to hopefully be the solution, especially for full sermon videos when we have to play them. It's that little black device right there. It's called the Lacey DVR. So it plays like a DVR. It just we're going to load the videos onto that, and then we're going to we're going to play it from that in the service. So we want to show you how to do that. So Ben's here. He's going to take. He's got the video already preloaded on his USB stick. He's going to stick it in his computer there, and, uh, and then he, what he's going to do is going to, he's going to find it on his computer. Um, you might have to minimize that software for a second so we can all see it. Okay. So he's going to open that file. You know, you know how to do this. So he's basically just going to drag all, all, the, all the files, but specifically we're going to just, for right now, we're going to pull the media file in this from this week. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so right in the sermon intro. So he's going to drag that over. And uh, he's going to drag it over to his desktop first. Yeah, so he's going to drag it to his desktop. So there's the video file that we want to play. Now, if you notice right there, we have the where it says Lacey DVR right above the file he just drug there. And he's going to drag that copy that file now into the Lacey DVR. You just have to left click and drag it and just copy it and so he's going to go ahead and do that and then what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to you see it this is a actually a, a network connection so this one's a little bit s slow but it's going to move that over what it's doing is it's moving that over to here to our nice little dvr and our new little dvr this thing will be connected audio will be connected to the uh, to the soundboard so he's got it there so now we're going to show you what to do on the DVR so on the DVR here's the DVR menu he's going to use his little remote to navigate you might want to practice that a little bit it's just going to be <laughs> right in the movie folder and he's going to find it from the movie folder I don't know if you can read that but he's going to scroll down to it he's going to he's going to go ahead and hit this? OK on that one and then he's going to load it up and hit he's going to hit uh, he's going to go ahead and and play from the start, and then he's going to hit pause. Have you ever asked the question, what's the... And right there, now we're going to make sure that we have those videos have a little bit more uh, lead time for you, so you have time to hit pause. But he's going to have that paused and ready to switch to that. Now, again, over here on his computer, pull that switcher up again, Ben. So his switcher right now is on OpenLP. Do you see that? It's on OpenLP. So this is what that looks like on the screen. OpenLP is the one that's live on the right. And on the left, we're looking at the DVR, which is paused and ready to play. So the service is going. Go ahead and pull up OpenLP, Ben. The service is going, and uh, he's going through the service. And we get to that point in the service where we're ready to play the video. So what he's going to do with the remote is he's going to play the video. And then he's gonna he's gonna fade it up on the switcher, or in this case, fade it down. So he's gonna use that switcher and fade it down. Now you didn't you didn't, you saw what he did there, but let me we're gonna do that again. So Ben, just hit pause on your video again. So there's the switcher right there. Now I'm gonna go to the screen so you can see. So right now he's on the video feed and he's gonna slide that switcher up to the OpenLP feed. So. Again, make sure you practice that a little bit. It's, it's really not that complicated, uh, but this is a process that we think, especially now for sermon intro videos, you can still play them from OpenLP if you'd rather do that. But I think for definitely for full-length sermon videos, we're going to prefer to play them from the new DVR because it's what it's built for and it's going to be less glitchy. So make sure that you touch base with your media guys. Make sure the sound guys understand how all the hookups are working so that they're muting that channel until, until we want it unmuted and uh, the like. So thanks for serving. If you have any questions, don't call me. Well, actually, you can call me if you need to. Bye. <laughs>